In this little video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do some creative uh, image stretching to, for example, change the position of the horizon in the image. So let's look at this image. Uh, this is basically out of camera, but let's look closely at this. All looks good. The horizon is not exactly in the middle and we have a nice foreground, some nice sky, but this is already a transformed image, even if you don't see it. The original looked like this. So let's see that before and after. Here I had the horizon exactly in the middle. This is how I shot it. And I think somehow when I was there shooting it, looking at the little camera display, it looked good to me because the sky looked good, the foreground looked good, and both harmonized with each other, but now at home I thought, well, it would be great if I had a little more foreground and a little less sky. And I did this by applying some little stretching to the image. Um, I did stretch the foreground a bit. This was the first step. And then I stretched in the sky a bit. And by this I changed the position, uh, position of the horizon and also um, made the foreground a little more interesting a, a little more wide angle look and I show you how, how to do this it's very easy you just copy the original layer grab the rectangular selection tool and make a selection of the foreground and you should position, uh, position this selection in a way uh, that it doesn't go through a major image elements. For example, we have the line here, it's just sand, and here it's just water. And if I start the stretching in this area, um, it will be seamless. You won't notice. And now that I have selected it, I just hit Ctrl T. And now, grabbing this lower handle, I just pull down on the foreground. Okay, Control D deselects the rectangle and now let's have a look, a close look. See the stretching occurs right here and also here. And if you click it very fast, you'll see it, but looking at the result, you don't see any stretching here. The important thing with the stretching is that you don't do too much. You see here it's it's just a little bit of the image and maybe I should have from for some other images you might even need to do less stretching because it, else it will be noticeable. But for this image such a little stretching doesn't hurt. You don't see it. And also for the sky um, I already have, have this one cropped so basically up here are some more clouds and what I did I also st stretched those, uh, I shrinked the sky, also I grabbed the rectangle for the sky, hit control, control T and pulled it down a bit. So, but uh, basically it's, it's the same like for the foreground, so I don't need to show you this. And again, let's just have another look at the before and after. I think this one now looks a little more interesting and I reached uh, I achieved this by, by very slight adjustments which you wouldn't even know I did if I hadn't shown you. So always good to to play around with an image a bit and even such simple tools like a rectangular selection can give you some nice results.